back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be using some Madame Glam gel polishes. I've got the Boardwalk, Lemon Pie, Lilac You A Lot. I have got, yeah, look, Madame Glam. Oh, yeah, you can get 30% off using my code NATMUG30. I've also got Candy Tuft Glitter from Nail Sugar. It's stunning. I haven't used it. Actually, I might have used it, but not for a long time. Um, and you can get 10% off any nail sugar products using my code NATMUG10. And it is a bank holiday weekend this weekend. So we have got Saturday, Sunday and Monday off, which is very exciting. Um, thank you, Mayday Bank Holiday. <laughs> I think it's Mayday. I don't think it's Queenie's Mayday until... Uh, Queenie's Bank Holiday until June. So, yeah. Anyway, right. I have seen... Um, our Lainey from Nail Sugar, she has done, she done a set of pink and yellow nails that she put a sneaky peek up. I don't know that her video is up yet, but she put the, she put the set on, um, she definitely put it on Nail Sugar. And I kind of, and, and then um, our Kelly as well, she, Kelly Wiper, Chronically Creative Nails. By the way, they're both on YouTube. Um, Kelly's Chronically Creative Nails and Lainey is, I think she's a Lane J nail artist on YouTube. Um, but Kelly done a, a yellow and peach set and I'm kind of really liking the like yellow and, and pinky colours. So I thought I would choose the Boardwalk Lemon Pie and then because I like a purple, I thought, right, I'd add a purple in. So uh, I like you a lot is the one that I chose. Um, so firstly, we're doing an ombre with the pink and the yellow. So what I like to do is I don't like to do the coats too thick when I'm doing an ombre. Um, I butt them up to each other. Then I use an ombre brush to flick backwards and forwards between the colors. Uh, some people have like other techniques which work probably better, like equally well, if not better. So you just kind of got to find the right technique for you. This is my second coat. And what I like to do is I would like to, I like to leave it to settle for a little bit just before I pop it into the lamp. By the way, that's how I clean my brush as well. I just squidge it off between a lint-free wipe. If I'm finding it's getting really a bit ugh, then I will just um, put some, I'll, I'll use a bit of, um, what do you call it? I'll just squidge some isopropyl alcohol on it and then and then uh, squidge it out between a lint-free wipe. Um, you can use base coat as well, run it through base coat, that'll do the job as well and then, but yeah, that's, anyway. Um, so we've got our pink and yellow ombre. I'm going to now do a purple and yellow ombre, but it's the same technique. So I'm not going to show you again. So there we are. There's our two ombres. Then for these last three nails, um, I'm going to do... Right, right, now I don't normally... Right, what I've started to do is I've started to show you me doing one coat and then I don't show the second coat because it's very... It becomes very boring. But I don't know what it was about these nails. It does, I don't think, maybe it doesn't become boring. It's just a bit repetitive, I suppose, is the word. Um, when I, I, I wanted to show you these because when I put these on, the gel polish just looked super silky smooth with no imperfections whatsoever. And you know, normally when you use tips, you get bits of lint or flick or whatever, a little, little hair in it. Well, I didn't seem to get that today or actually yesterday when I was doing these nails. And um, I even done a little bit of a slow mo. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, that's that song, isn't it? Anyway, don't sing that now. Okay. Um, so look, <coughs> this is the, yeah, so the other three nails are going to be one, sorry, two coats of each of the three colours that I have chosen. Look, ready? Just look though. Slow mo. <gasps> oh, it just looks so perfect. Anyway, Billy, Billy's sitting with me and so is Ted. Moving on, this is the second coat. Look at that, though. Oh, I just love it. I just love freshly applied, freshly applied gel polish just gets me oh, right in the feels. A bit sad, I know, but it's one of those things. Right, this is Candy Tuft Glitter from Nail Sugar. It's absolutely beautiful. By the way, the links to uh, Madame Glam and Nail Sugar will be down below along with my discount code if you want to use them. And we're going to use some base coat to apply the glitter. So I'm not going to cure this base coat. I'm going to, we're going to put it on the yellow. This yellow, I love this yellow. I'm not a massive, a, I'm not a big fan of yellow really, unless it's like a kind of neon or a pastel. And then, uh, then I love it. But yeah, I thought, do you know what I thought would be easier is if I sprinkled some of the gel polish, uh, some of the glitter on and then just use my brush to pick up little bits that I wanted. Now this glitter is lovely because it's got, it's got like your hexagonal shaped glitter. It's got these little flower 
pieces of glitter it's got the butterflies there it's got like I'm, I'm sure it's got fine iridescent glitter and even some little tiny bits of mylar in it as well there's a lot going on on this glitter but it's it just it's lovely and I just thought it went really well with this set so yeah that's why I used it I'm gonna I'll, I'll skip forward a bit Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's going to go in the lamp. Then what I'm going to do is just to smooth it out a little bit, I'm going to go over with another coat of base coat. You can go out, depending on what you want to do with it, if you want it shiny, you could go over with your glossy top coat. And then if it's if it's still a bit rough, you could buff it and then top coat again. Um, but I like to do base coat and then top coat. Anyway, these are what I'm going to use. I think these were from Shein. Honestly, can't remember. I know the Love Heart was definitely from Shein. Um, I'm not sure where I got those little flowers from, but I'm going this, sorry, if you hadn't realized by now, this set's going to be matte. <laughs> um, I hope the dogs don't bark. They're playing on the sofa with toys and stuff and Teddy gets a bit jealous and then Billy, oh, it's just honestly, no, Billy, I don't want to play yet, darling. I'm doing this. Uh, then I'm going to use some with the, the love heart and the flowers. These are Preciosa AB Crystals from Crystal Parade. They're absolutely stunning. Billy, I can't play right now, bud. And you can get 5% off those using my code NAT5. I'm also going to use my Crystal Katana, which is also available from the Crystal Parade. And what I'm going to do is I'm putting quite a big blob of gem glue in the sort of just above the center there. You might want to even put a little bit more. And that's, I'm going to put my heart on that, not lit, my literal heart, <laughs> because that would be weird. Um, and then I'd probably be dead, which is not nice. I don't want to be dead yet. Um, so yeah, uh, then I'm just going to cure it with a UV torch just so that I can set it in place because something big like that will end up falling all over the place until it's cured. So just give it a quick flash cure. And then I'm going to add on the, I'm adding three flowers and it was quite handy because I had one of each of the three colours that I was using. So I've got the yellow one, the pink one and the purple one. And I'm going to put two at the top. I'm not sure what colour I use at the top. I think I use purple, but I can't remember. Yes, I do. And then I'm going to shove a pink at the bottom. But I think before I do that, I'm going to apply just a, just a one or two or three AB crystals between the flowers. That's what they are. So I think what they were called then. <laughs> its name completely eluded me. So there we go. And then I'm going to plop one there. And that's going to be the top. So I'm just going to give that a quick flash cure because I don't want them to start moving. And then on the bottom here, we're just going to finish up with the pink flower. And then again a couple more of those ab crystals i mean you can go as mad or as as you, yeah you can go as mad or as not mad as you want it's entirely up to you um you might also want to just fill up underneath the flowers and the heart with some acrylic or um some gel just so that they don't catch but because I've, obviously i mean I've, I've said this before i think but no one's going to wear mine so these are just these are just sets for YouTube, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Though I should probably show you how to. Yeah, I should probably. Anyway, just, I said job half done. That's if it's worth doing. It's worth doing properly, isn't it? Uh, this one I was just going to put the flowers on. Um, as you can see, I'm just adding some flowers on here. But I thought, I thought no. Do you know what? It needs to be. I need to put everything in it. Hang on a second. Boys, can you start getting your shoes on? There we go. It's nearly, I've got to get them to school. It's five to eight in the morning. I'm voice noting this because I've got a busy day today. I've got lots to do. So I thought I'd get this done nice and early. So yeah, so because I, I, I just felt like the glitter wasn't complete without, without all the components of the glitter mix in on the nail. Does that make sense? I think it does. So yeah, I'm just going to add on what I want. And I even added, in the end, I added a butterfly as well because I was like, oh, I can't leave the butterflies out. I was just trying to add some of the fine glitter around the other bits and bobs in this mix. I love this mix now. It's like, oh, I love it. <clears throat> I think I've used it before, but I can't remember. But if I have used it before, I've only used it once. 
and it's absolutely love for this like for spring summer it, i love it's got the neon bits in it it's really really nice so go and grab some use code natmug10 you save 10 percent bargain there we go anyway once i'm happy with it i'm going to pop it in a lamp and then again i'm going over with a layer of base coat just to smooth it out if you're doing this on a short nail you're going to want to work in thin coats because you don't want the nail to start to look bulky and then we are going to top coat all the nails with the velvet matte top coat we've already done that first now so we don't have to worry about that one and now because we've gone over on the glitter nails with the base coat it's going to make the nail a lot smoother when it comes to top coating Although when you, if you do have glitter on it and you top coat the glitter with matte top coat, the matte top coat disguises any lumps and bumps in the light because obviously you don't get a light line. So yeah, if you do get any lumps and bumps, they're only going to feel them. You're not going to see them so much. Does that make sense? I think it does. And then I felt like I needed just something a little bit extra. So I decided I grabbed another orange and another purple flower. And I'm, look, I'm sorry, I'm really far down on the screen here. <coughs> But I put the yellow at the top and the purple on the bottom because I kind of wanted to um, go the opposite of what the gel polish colours were on the nail. That didn't make sense. That, that wasn't English, but you know what I mean? So where I've got purple on the top of the nail, I put the purple flower on the bottom so that you'd have that contrast of colour. Is that the right word? I don't know. I'm using all these big words today. And I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. They're not even big words. They're just normal words. That I just, yeah, anyway, shush nats. And then I thought I would just do some ab crystals coming up and around each corner because why not and again you can add as many or as little as you want i just wanted to do like a little line of ab crystals i can hear the kids getting their shoes on all oh, they're good boys i love my boys i'm so glad it's bank holiday weekend because i love it when they're at home i know it's only three days but it'll be the summer holiday soon six weeks with my boys i love it I struggle to get nails done, so I'll have to try and be prepared for the summer and get lots of nails done ready, won't I, Bill? Yes, you will, Nats. Yeah, Bill said yes. There we go. I'm going to pop those in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds, and then I will show you the finished. There we go. I'll show you a close-up. I love these. They're actually really quite quirky, quite fun. I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I hope you like this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing, and I will see you beautiful lot probably on Monday. Hopefully Monday. If not, it will be Tuesday. Funny old, yeah, funny old upload times at the moment. Anyway, have a great bank holiday weekend. God bless. And I will see you all soon. Love you. Bye.